Reaper 6 has just come out, and in this video we're covering a lot of the frequently asked questions that I've seen over the past 24 hours. So first up, a lot of people asking if they need to pay for this upgrade. And that depends on when you bought your Reaper license before this. If you bought during version 4 or earlier, then you do need to pay for a license to continue on with version 6 and on. If you bought during version 5, then you're still good for another version for all of version 6. A license covers two full versions, so if you buy during 5, you get 5 and 6. And if you buy now, you get from version 6 all the way through to version 6.9 and all the way through version 7.9. So uh, you're good for many years. I've had a lot of questions about overriding your install. Is it safe to install this over your previous uh, version 5? Or uh, can you update and keep all your settings? So you can install this just like any of the previous updates during the version 5 cycle. Um, there are quite a few things that have changed. And for the most part, it's going to be keeping all of your same settings. Um, anything that you've changed previously should still be in effect. So any of your custom keyboard shortcuts, any of your menus, toolbars, um, you know, all those sorts of things are going to be still available. But if you want to just try out version 6 on its own for a little while, you can do a portable install. On Windows, there's just a toggle in the installer to choose portable. That just puts everything in a self-contained folder. On the Mac, you would just make a new folder in your Applications folder. So I've got one here for Reaper 6. I just named it Reaper 6. And from the installer, you import the reaper64.app. And then you need an empty reaper.ini file. So uh, what I find is the shortcut for this is to take the readme.txt file, import that in, open it up in the text editor, delete everything, save it as reaper.ini, and then when you launch the app for the first time, um, all of these preference files, all these folders and stuff get populated in there uh, with all the default settings. So if you do a portable install, you do need to import any settings or recreate all of your favorite settings. But so far, I haven't heard of anyone um, you know, losing any data or anything like that. But just to be safe, you should always make sure you have a backup and um, do a portable install if you're not ready to commit to a brand new version. So Reaper 6 has a brand new theme, and um, there's a lot of new things, or a lot of different things in this. Aside from just appearance, the functions have changed as well. A lot of people were noticing that if you have the mixer open, you don't have all of the elements of the track control panel that you're used to. So here we have the record enable button, but I don't see the monitor enable button, and I don't see the pan. Uh, there's volume here, there's the effects, there's the trim, but where's the routing button? You know, all those things are hidden if the mixer is available. So I'll close the mixer, and now those elements are there. By default, they changed it to uh, monitor enable as soon as you record enable. So you can see that there. And if you make this track a little bit bigger, you can see the mic input is there. So this is all just put into the default layout, and you can always adjust that if you prefer to just have everything um, visible all the time. So you go to the Options menu, then Themes and Theme Adjuster. And you can set the tracks to the Layout B. And there you have everything visible, um, whether you have the mixer visible or not. Just for example. So Layout A is anything that's default. And you can always choose um, to disable the hiding options in here. So you can apply those to the select tracks. And yeah, so nothing is hidden. Um, a lot of people were asking if you can still use the version 5 theme. So again, options menu, themes, and you go to default 5. And so if you're used to the default 5 theme, there it is. So all of the user-created themes will still work with version 6, uh, but they won't have those extra functions that are in the script editor. But yeah, if you prefer the Reaper 5 theme or something else, you can absolutely use those still. Uh, and if you want to try out different themes and you haven't done that yet, uh, you can find those on the Reaper stash. I'll have a link in the description. Um, and to install them, most of the time, it's just a drag and drop into the Reaper project. 
and that will install the theme. I'll just grab one here now um, from my other install. Uh, so for example, I'll take this radar theme and drop it in. And so, yeah, that easy to install the new theme. I had a lot of people asking about how to change the appearance. Uh, for the most part, it's not that different than changing a version 5 theme. I have a video on recommended theme tweaks for the version 5 theme. But Reaper 6 also does have its theme adjuster script, which I showed a little bit earlier, but we can look at this a little bit more. So in here, we can control elements of the track control panel, mostly just things, choosing which things are visible in the layouts, choosing different sizes for the theme. So 100% is, so this is 100%, but I could also make it smaller uh, or even smaller. And if you're on a small screen, you can make things bigger. It kind of depends, Reaper detects whether you have a high DPI screen or not. So big screens or high resolution screens can make things smaller. Uh, small screens like 1080p screens can make things larger. So there's a, a section of this for the track control panel, for the mixer panel. So again, we can have things like um, extended with sidebar, narrower tracks, meter expansion, um, and labels on everything. There's also custom colors. So you can use this to color your tracks. And you can choose different like color schemes. You actually need to apply a color and then you can kind of randomly choose. And there's 100% uh, saturation colors, you know, different color schemes. So that's the theme adjuster. That's the, the first way you would adjust the default six theme. Um, you can find that in the options menu. You can also find that um, in the action list called default 6.0 theme adjuster dot Lua. Uh, if we type in theme in here, there's also show theme tweak configuration window. And this is uh, an older implementation of this stuff, but it does cover different things. So in here, we can do something like timeline background and maybe just change that. And that changes the ruler. We can do things like changing the, the track background for odd and even tracks. So we'll, uh, we'll just make that a little bit lighter. We'll do that kind of evenly on both. And so if you want the whole arrange view to be lighter, you just go through here and you can modify those colors. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to do another video on modifying this. I haven't completely gone through this yet myself to make my own ideal theme. But it's definitely something that I'm going to do, and most likely I'll make a video on it as well. So for now, um, I'll just leave it at that. And when you do modify your theme, remember to hit save, and then save it as a new um, a new name. So those are the things I've been seeing people asking about the most. I'll have a lot more videos on Reaper 6 coming up, so don't you worry. Uh, it'll just take me a couple days to get those made. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.